Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I have something really cool to show you today. Now, if any of you subscribe to Red Cat Imaging, uh, Foxy 3's channel, um, as you might know him from a UK Lotspot Forum, then you will have already seen this. Um, if you're not a subscriber to Red Cat Imaging, though, then this video is probably more for you because I would like you to go and check out Rekas Imaging. Not only is he a really, really nice guy, uh, he is really innovative with his 3D printing work. Um, he's an excellent picker as well. And just I can't think of any reason why if you're interested in lock picking and not watching his channel. So, um, uh, and I just wanted to show this lock off on my channel. I said, when I saw it, I went, uh, Foxy, please send me this. I, I just want to show it to um, my subscribers as well. I'm sure that we have a, a, a Venn diagram overlap of, of, of subscribers, but um, the more people who we can get to see uh, excellent work like this, I think the better for the community in general. So, um, yeah, you might already be able to tell what this is. This is a full 3D printed padlock, and I just think that this is absolutely excellent. Um, there are a few on Thingiverse. This isn't currently. Um, but a lot of them have uh, lots of lots and lots of lots of printed parts. This one essentially only has a few and you can actually use real pins um, in the lock as well. And I think that locks like this aren't just fun 3D printing projects. They're, they're really good educational uh, tools as well. Uh, and when you start to learn lock picking, things like this are really useful just to be able to you know, see how padlocks and locks work in general. So, um, yeah, if you've already seen this on Fox's channel, you're not going to learn anything um, new. Uh, but if you've not seen this before, then please continue to watch because um, I think that uh, Foxy has done just an amazing job here. And look at his amazing little uh, logo he printed. And not only that, this just shows what a cool guy he is. He made um, my Lock Noob logo on little disc as well. Isn't that really cool? I love it. That's like Lock New Play. I love it. Awesome. Really beautiful work there. Okay. So, yep, you'll see it has a 3D printed key as well. And does it work? Well, and it's, by the way, it's like a modified um, uh, standard Yale type keyway. So that's that's always nice to see as well. So with a little bit of um, warding in there. And look at that. Just works perfectly. Not only that, is it's actually ball bearing mechanism, um, shackle moves freely, it doesn't pull out, just beautiful. Now, I am going to strip this down very, very gently and very cautiously, because um, I think it's really interesting to see the inside of this lock. So I've got some uh, tweezers should I need them, and I've got a, um, oh, it's just tipping over, a hex key set there. So I'm um, going to leave the key uh, in, so it's, uh, right, no, I'm gonna lock it up actually, saying that. There we go, gently. That way we can um, remove the pins in the chambers. I wasn't thinking ahead there. There we go. And do this very, 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 very carefully. Okay. Now, this thread is taken straight into the 3D printing PLA. So we want to be um, really careful here and just uh, tip this chamber out. Oop. There's a key pin. On uh, Foxy's channel, and of course I'm going to be linking to it and, and his video, you'll see that, um, leave that there. Uh, he actually picks this lock and says that the uh, feedback is a little deadened by the plastic. Also, I would say that um, that would somewhat limit the lifespan of uh, this lock if you were to use it as a picking aid. Although, again, you could probably just 3D print yourself another one, which is um, one of the really cool things about it. Um. Hmm. Put the key in, see if it's a... Uh... There we go, encourages the key pin to come out. And remove the key again, because it will put the whole thing under tension. And again, I'm being super, super gentle with this. This was lent to me, it isn't mine. Um, 
Although, if he ever puts the file up on Thingiverse, I'll be printing my own one out like a shot. Because I think this is really cool. So, you can see that um, already we've just got um, standard pin sets here. So, key, standard key pins from different locks, no doubt. Uh, uh, standard driver pins for different locks. We've got some spools and some standards there. Um, and I think that's really cool with this lock is that you, you don't have to like 3D print pins or anything. You can just use what you've got lying around, pin it up um, how you like, um, use whatever springs you've got lying around. You know, it's, um, it's, it's really just an excellent piece of work here. And that's one thing about having a YouTube channel. I get to show off um, other people's really, really, really great designs as well. Um, encourage you to... Um, think of your own designs and encourage you to look at other lock sport channels uh, that you might like as well um, you know I absolutely uh, love this community I love what it does I love the work that comes out of it um, and this is a, a fine example now that is all of the pins we've got one last one if you know anything about padlocks then you'll understand that this is the retaining pin for the shackle No, it's the, the plug, sorry, not the shackle. The shackle is held in by ball bearings, which I'll show you in a minute. Gently pull this out. You'll see that this pin here uh, goes all the way down into the top of this plug, and it'll do two things. It'll limit the rotation round. Um, I don't want to hurt this as I pull it out. It'll, yeah, it'll limit the um, rotation round of the plug, and it'll also... Um, Let's put the key in, see if I can pull it out of that way. There we go. Come on. There we go. Got it. There we go. And be careful there. So it'll limit the um, its rotation round by um, being in this groove. Let me show you. And we should have two little ball bearings that will fall out as well. There we go. I'll show you those in a second as well. So this pin here. As you know, with padlocks, there's two things. It makes sure that the plug stays in and it limits the rotation round. You'll see that the back of the plug has two spaces for ball bearings. And that means that uh, when it's in this position, the ball bearings will be here and they'll be pushed out. And when it's at this position, um, they, they can be drawn in. So this will be locked to be pushing the ball bearings out into the spaces um, on the shackle here and here and when you unlock it so that'll be in sort of that position uh, there when you unlock it they allow the ball bearings to retract and the shackle will be able to be removed now the ball bearings are out you'll also see that we have these are 3d printed too a big ball and a little ball don't we all the big ball would sit here and when it retracts into the lock body, it doesn't retract fully, it retracts a little bit, allowing um, it to hold the bottom of the shackle in. If it was a smaller ball bearing, um, this would actually just pop out. So it's important to get your balls in the right side. And now we can see the last element, which is the spring, which is from a pen, um, I believe Foxy says on this video. So there we go, three parts. We have um, a beautifully 3D printed body with the holes for the pins and the um, plug retaining bits. We have the key, the actual core itself with its actuator at the back and the shackle itself with its very clever um, ball bearing retaining mechanism. So there we go I mean isn't that an amazing piece of work um, it's it's sort of um, as simple as you can probably get in terms of 3d design but as we all know with simplicity simplicity is sometimes the most difficult thing to attain um, it's usually easier to make things a bit over complicated in many parts so I think that uh, this was just a really really beautiful piece of work and um, and, and I really just want to show it off again. It's worth showing uh, twice and many times more. So please go check out Red Cat Imaging on his YouTube channel. 
Um, you know, if, if this is uh, just one example of what he does, then hopefully you'll be encouraged to just whiz over and check out his channel. Um, if you don't already do so, which um, I, I know hundreds of you already do. Okay, I will see you next time.